crap, crap, crap. Oh. Seafood. The province in Thailand called Chum Pon. We are going to have some appetizer first at this market. <laughs> gonna go eat a lot of like snack chips and stuff. Maybe not a lot, but good, good enough. Good amount. <laughs> They actually not just have like a food, but they also have like some other stuff on the other side as well. Let's check it all out together. So I have never been here before because I don't I don't think I've been to this province before, but we're gonna just gonna go try it, try some food randomly. First thing first, since it walking across the street, this I feel like it's a must somehow. I feel like, uh, Deep fry wonton and they make it like really cute. It's like small little one. A lot of stuff put in there, like this one, minced pork. Ah. Oh. Regular deep fry stuff. This? This is fish. So. I'm gonna show you guys inside what it looks like. Mm -hmm. Not much, which is not really that surprising because this whole thing is just 20 baht. This is probably going to be a little exciting for some of you because inside it's a quail egg. Next one! It's going to be some meat and we found this small little chicken chop. We're just going for one of it like this. <laughs> but they make it just like uh, fresh right there so it's hot and crispy. I hope. I hope. Oh. Oh. Crispy enough. 10 baht each, not bad. I somehow wish it's like crispier. I see something that I might want right now. So inside, I'll open it for you. I already ordered one, like the roll of that thing. Seafood. That's the horseshoe crab. They're gonna take some of that roll inside it, put it in that thing which we call it ha mok. Oh. They have like herbs, eggs, and yeah, coconut milk and also the curry paste. Mix it all together, then it's come out as a ha mok. This small little circles, the round thing. That's the horseshoes, horseshoe crab roll. They don't have spoon for us, so we're gonna go with the small little thing and maybe my hand. The egg is actually like something that give it a texture like this. Oh, oh hot! It's good. It's really like. I love the smell because of the herbs and also the curry paste. Really good. Just like you eating steam egg, but with the curry paste taste. Tastes like green curry. It's the, green curry though. <laughs> but it tastes like the green curry soup you get, but a little bit spicier. Yeah, it's pretty good. Like the horseshoe crab row, when you look at it, it reminds me of some kind of bean or, or kind of like sprouted seed. And it kind of has like a earthy, fishy flavor. <laughs> fishy, but, you love it. Yeah. <laughs> One more thing that I am getting excited for is this thing, fermented rice. So pretty much 
Yeah, for minute rice. So they use the sticky rice. So this could actually get you drunk, but not really, like, you know, somehow. Oh, you smell it. Yeah. <laughs> you smell the alcohol. This one called Kama. It's pretty much like uh, the same way of making sake. Like Japanese sake, but different type of yeast. Yeah, you can really taste them. It's alcoholic with rice. You can smell it too. Yeah, I know. Ten baht for this one. Hmm. You can get drunk up ten baht. Yeah, get it so damn drunk. It actually smells like bread. That, <laughs> right after you leave your loaf of bread out all night, after you're prepping it for your loaf. Whoa. <laughs> I'm not a fan of it, but. I love it. My family love it. I love it. It could be like a really good dessert also, because, you know, it's refreshing. This in the summer would be super good. Oh, we're now getting to the spot where they don't sell food, but something else. And then the other side, you're gonna see food again. Last one of our appetizer session. And it's not that we want to leave or something, but you can see everyone's just like packing like really quickly right now because it's all gonna be like really stormy afterward. Probably like a few seconds, but we keep eating because my cameraman wants to. Strawberry ice cream with some yogurt on top and some of like the jelly, strawberry, and cereal. 20 Thai baht. Pretty good, really refreshing. Strawberry ice cream is good. Cornflakes is a good little touch. A little crunch. It's like it's like having yogurt cereal kind of. It's really good. So it's, it's like having a ice cream yogurt cereal. <laughs> okay you guys. <laughs> and now we have to be in a rush also. Because I really don't want to get wet or anything. I hope you guys enjoyed this all of this appetizer here. At this, oh, it's like the Chumpon headquarter right there, and Chumpon main meeting spot, and this thing right here. So this they have it. Let's see. Uh, one one okay, how good man, huh? They have it just only on Friday and Saturday, so don't forget to check it out if you're ever in the area because good food, great price, and the people here are really kind and chill and really welcoming. We've been eating a lot with a lot of like the smiles. Don't forget to subscribe to our Bianca Thai channel, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Everything here is so good. Ah, you bet it is. <laughs>